Hey guys, it's Jordan from Weller Health Education with Leah Valley Hospital. I'm here to talk to you guys today a little bit about something that I'm very passionate about, something I wish was kind of more available to me when I was your age. So I was an athlete basically my entire life, all through middle school, all through high school. I almost played sports in college and then decided not to. Um, so being active, playing sports, fitness is all really important part of my life. Um, and I think that I wish I had more information when I was in middle school and high school on how to properly feel my body, on the foods I should be eating, when I should be eating, you know, what is best to eat before practice or a game and, you know, what nutrients should I be getting? Because I can tell you that when I was in high school, I was not eating anything remotely healthy, eating pizza before games, after games, you know, eating breadsticks and chicken sandwiches and things that just aren't good for your body, especially when you want to perform at an optimal level. So I actually am going to go to the gym. I still lift weights. I work out every single day. It's something that's important to me. Um, so I just thought it would mean more coming from me, someone who incorporates this into their everyday life. So for me, I eat about an hour and a half before I go work out. So this would be before like a practice or a game. Um, and what I have here is I have chicken and I have rice. So I have a carb source and a protein source, something that's low in fat, something that's going to digest pretty well in my stomach, something that doesn't really bother me too much. And it's also very filling. So this is what I usually eat before workout. I also eat the same thing after and that's just because I don't mind eating the same foods every day, but some people are different. So I hope that you guys learned something new from this video. I hope that you incorporate it or at least try to incorporate it into your everyday life, especially if you are an athlete who is practicing and playing a lot of sports or it's taking up a lot of time. I think that food is very, very important. So let's get into more of today's topic. So what we're going to talk about today is food that we should be eating before a practice or a game. So when we should be eating and what to eat. We'll talk about how hydration is important to not only just your everyday life, but also if you are an athlete, if you are practicing a lot, it's important to hydrate your body. And then we're also going to talk about what to eat after a practice or a game, when you should be eating, what you should be eating. And then we'll talk a little bit about different foods that may not be available to us at certain times. So just like if we don't have a lot of options at the school cafeteria, if our bus is stopping at a fast food place on the way home, just little tips and tricks to kind of help us fuel our bodies the way that it should be fueled if we are an athlete and we're playing a sport and we're super busy. One thing I wish that people would have told me when I was in high school, when I was an athlete, was that food plays a major role in our performance. So I remember when I was in high school, every single day when I went to lunch, I would get in line, I would get three cheesy breadsticks, dipped it in marinara sauce. After I ate that, my friends and I at our table, we would go up and we'd get the Welch's fruit snacks and either like a slushy or some other type of like snack. And then I wouldn't eat the rest of the day, would go to practice or my game or whatever it may be. Now, looking back on it, I'm like, wow, <laughs> I eat really, really bad. And that's not exactly good when you're an athlete. So food is fuel and it can improve how our body works and performs if you eat the right foods. Some foods may actually be slowing you down in your sport and impacting your performance in a negative way. And there were times I remember being at practice or at a game and I just felt so sluggish and so slow and kind of run down or like I couldn't react quick enough or I wasn't fast enough. And I truly think that that's because of the food that I was eating because I wasn't fueling my body in the proper way and it was impacting my performance. So I'm going to assume that you guys know just the basic macronutrients of fats, carbs, and protein. I'm not going to get too much into that. I want you guys to just think about what you eat every single day. Maybe what you eat before practice or while you're at school, or just think about the foods that you're putting into your body. Now, if you do have practice or a game, 
I want you to think about what you ate before that. Maybe it's on the bus ride. Maybe your only meal is at lunch that day. Just think about that in your mind. And then think about how you can improve it based off of what I'm going to tell you. You want to really eat or plan your meals about an hour to two hours before you practice or before your game. So your meals want to be timed a little bit better than just like eating something on the bus. You want your body to be able to digest that food and break it down so it really can use it as fuel. So your pre-practice game meal should look like this. It should be a carb source or protein source or even a mixture of both. So maybe you have chicken, turkey, or eggs with maybe potatoes, rice, bread, or a bagel. I know for me, when I go train on the weekends, I don't have a whole lot of time to eat. So I'll grab a bagel just so I have a carb source to have energy because carbs are energy right before I go work out. The things we want to avoid before practices or games would be high fatty foods. So foods that are hard for our bodies to digest and are going to slow us down. So high fatty foods would be Nut butters like peanut butter, or almond butter, fried food, pizza, french fries. Those things that I was telling you I was eating for lunch every single day in high school. Those cheesy breadsticks. So just things that aren't going to help us perform better in our sport are the things that we want to avoid. If you know that you eat certain foods and it bothers your stomach. Some people get stomach aches when they eat dairy. Try to avoid that before practice or a game so that it doesn't upset your stomach. So I just have a picture of an example of a pregame meal. So I have some chicken there. You can add a, pro, or a carb source like potatoes, sweet potatoes, rice. Um, I like rice cakes. Um, they make a lot of different flavors, and I think that it's very helpful, especially when you're on the go. It's something that you could stick in your backpack, your gym bag, your bag that you use for whatever sport you play. I just think that they're very super easy and convenient, and they're really not that bad for you. So... Just an example of a pregame meal, but again, I list some food sources on the previous slide that you can go back to and use. Staying hydrated is also very important for optimal performance. So water is the best thing for you to drink throughout the day. So when you first wake up in the morning, try to drink some water. I like to do like 10 chugs or maybe just drink one water bottle full of water before I get my day started because water is really important. And when you're dehydrated, it makes it harder for you to perform in your sport. You can have headaches. It can make you feel dizzy. So it's really not a great feeling to be dehydrated. So we want to make sure that we're staying hydrated all throughout the day. If you're not allowed to carry a water bottle with you during school, maybe make trips to a water fountain, but try to stay as hydrated as you can. Some people ask me, well, what about sports drinks? What about Gatorade or Powerade or things like that? So sports drinks aren't bad for you, but they should be used in moderation. And I'm going to go back to how I was comparing things to when I was in middle school and high school. And I remember that I used to drink Gatorade and Powerade around the clock. Like I would drink it before bed. I would drink it during school. I would drink it at my sports practices. I basically drank that as like the only thing I ever drank. Now that isn't healthy. The best time for you to have a Gatorade or a Powerade would be during practice or during games. But you shouldn't be drinking Gatorade or Powerade instead of drinking water or in like a replacement of water. You should really only be drinking it when you're using the most amount of energy, when you're using your optimal performances during the day. So you can drink sports drinks. They're not inherently bad for you. Some of them do have a lot of sugar. So I would just look at the sugar content of them. You're basically drinking them for the electrolytes that your body is sweating out. So the lower sugar ones, there's the Powerade Zero, the Gatorade Zero. I would suggest those if you're going to drink those instead of water. Um, But again, make sure you're drinking them during practice or games and not just like all throughout the day. So what should you eat after practice or a game? Now, I know sometimes you take like the bus home or maybe it's a Friday night and your family eats pizza on Fridays. That's fine. You know, do things that make you happy, but make sure you're also taking care of your body. 
You shouldn't be eating pizza every single day after practice or after every game. You should still be fueling your body appropriately. So when you should eat after a meal is usually, you know, you can eat right after, you can eat an hour after, whatever your body needs. But I would do it in that hour window. So again, I would eat a lean protein source. We want to minimize fats. So if you're eating a meal with a protein source, there's no need for you to have like a protein shake or anything like that. So find something lean like chicken, ground turkey. If you want to have ground beef or steak, make sure it's a leaner cut or maybe like a 90 Three seven or a ninety ten on the fat scale. Too much fat after a workout is going to make you feel sick, and fat around a workout isn't always the best option. And then find a carb source. Carbs are really great for recovery. I mentioned a bunch of carb sources before. I think that quick, easy things on the go that might be beneficial on the bus could be like an apple or a banana maybe even like pretzels if you have to stop. A gas station pick that I think is always a great source of a post-workout is like a protein bar. Just try to find one that's a little bit lower in fat. For me, my post-gym type of meal is usually a protein shake, and that's because I just don't have a whole lot of time, so it's something quick and easy for me. So if you don't have a protein source that's just like readily available for you, A protein shake would be good for your body to kind of get the nutrients that were depleted and it would be something to hold you over until you got home or until you had time to eat a whole meal. So again, we want to avoid high fat foods. High fat foods are going to slow down your recovery process. They're not going to help your body in any way. So avoid those fried foods, Doritos, chips, that kind of thing, that's not going to help the recovery process. Just a picture of an example of a post-game or practice meal. There's steak there. Find a carb source, maybe like rice or potatoes. Try to throw a veggie in there. Green veggies are the best veggies for you, so broccoli, green beans, spinach, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, anything like that. Um, If you don't like steak, again, there's chicken, turkey, eggs. Just try to keep the fats a little bit lower because you just got done exercising. So fast food isn't the worst thing for you because there are some decent places where you can eat. So if the bus stops or your parents need to stop on the way home or you're really hungry and need something to hold you over, there are a few fast food spots that I would recommend. I think that Chipotle is a really great place. Um, It's actually something I use. I go to Chipotle after the gym sometimes. And what I'll do is I'll get a bowl with a carb source. So I'll usually get brown rice or white rice. And then you want a protein source. So you can get beans, you can get meat. And then I usually just throw some veggies on there. um, And that can hold me over. It's also a really good meal. It is low in fat. So just try to pick good, healthy ingredients to make that bowl. Another one I really like is Chick-fil-A. They have grilled chicken. That grilled chicken is a very good choice. I wouldn't get any of the fried stuff, but getting like a grilled chicken sandwich or the grilled chicken nuggets would be a really great option. So other fast food places, again, I would just stick to the grilled chicken. I would stick to salads or snack wraps, the lower fat options. So you don't have to look at fast food as being the enemy or anything like that. Just make good choices when you go there and know what's going to help fuel your body and help the recovery process. I know that during the school day, it could be very hard to make good choices. There might not be a whole lot of options. So just try to keep it healthy during the school day. I know when I would go to the cafeteria, there was always tons and tons of unhealthy options. I told you about those breadsticks. There was also always pizza. There was always bags of chips and slushies and terrible things for me to be eating before playing my sport. So I advise you guys, if you do have a really big game or a practice or something, pack your own food because you can control what you're eating. But if that's not an option, just try to make the best choices. Fruit is always a really good snack choice because the carbs can help give you energy. I would try to stay away from the fried lunch choices and pizzas. I would stick to maybe the main meal. Usually the main meal at least has a vegetable and a fruit option, so it can be moderately healthy. And I would just try to eat a balanced lunch. So maybe eat a sandwich with some meat on it 
and try to eat fruit or vegetable with it instead of chips. So just try to eat a balanced lunch the best that you can. I know that it's hard when you are in school and the options are limited, but do your best to be able to fuel your body for not only yourself and your sport, but for your teammates as well. So I hope that you guys learned something new today. I think this information is extremely valuable being an athlete in high school and playing a bunch of different sports, I wish I knew then the information that I know now because I actually think that I would have been a better athlete if I was able to fuel my body properly. I think that even now that I'm getting older, if I went back and did those sports, I would probably be a lot better just because I know how to feel my body. I know how to kind of keep my body in shape. And so I think that if I took nutrition and exercise more seriously when I was an athlete, I would have exceeded a lot further in the sport. And ultimately, when you're succeeding, I think it's a lot more fun. So I think that this is a really important topic, something that a lot more athletes do need to consider and do need to take more seriously.